just a review of an all-in-one FPV uh, system. This one was by Wolf Loop. I know there are some by Esheen, but I just got these off Amazon about $16. You can either get a dipole antenna or a cloverleaf or circular polarized antenna on these. Now I found the dipole antenna is, people claim that they are stronger, but the circularly polarized or the cloverleaf antennas are, have much better reception, especially if you're using a plane and the antenna is going to be tilting around. The dipole is not as good for these types of applications. I just 3D printed a little cap for um, because I lost my, the other lens protector, so I had to 3D print one. And these get um, pretty hot if you're using them, because this, for this camera, you can change the milliwatt settings. So 25 milliwatts, 50 milliwatts, and 200 milliwatts. 25 milliwatts is plenty for, you know, around the house or, you know, outdoors, pretty close proximity. 50 is good for, you know, that mid-range, you know, kind of all around at 200 if you're really going far out. I've heard that they can go up to about a kilometer when you're 200 milliwatts. So that's plenty, um, especially if you're just using a normal radio. It only would go as about as far as your radio. So anyways, this is only about five grams, pretty lightweight. The reason why I have a zip tie over here is because, as I said, with the 200 milliwatt or the, even the 50 milliwatt setting, this will get pretty hot and it might melt the hot glue and detach itself. So a zip tie works well and just some hot glue just to secure it. And comes with a little Molex connector. And then it also came with this adapter which connected to, I think this is a larger Molex connector. So the adapter looked like that. But what I did is I chopped this off of the adapter and since I have JST batteries, now I have a few one cell 750 milliamp hour LiPos from an old drone, like a broken little toy drone. And I'll, these already had um, JST connectors, and the chargers already had JST connectors. So I just attached, I, it, this is a little DIY Arduino. I just took two Arduino, like, jumper wires, and put a little hot glue and some heat shrink over them. Um, and then stripped the wires on both ends and then solder them together and put some heat shrink over to make a cool little adapter. Now you do have to remember which one, which way is which, so I just put some Sharpie over the red heat shrink to show me which one's negative and positive, and it just plugs in like that. Nice snug fit into this battery. And then I just take this, and I can plug it in to the FPV and as you can see it is getting power now to change your channel and band so change like either A I don't know all of them but it's like you have your A B C anyways you can change B E F and R. And you just do that by holding down until the first set of flashing. And then to save, you just release the button and let it recycle back into the normal cycle. And then to change the power setting, hold it for as long until that center beam is flashing. So hold it down until that center beam, and then you click. That's 50 milliwatts, 200 milliwatts, and zero milliwatts. I let, I'll just put it on 25 milliwatts. And then 
just wait until it goes back to this normal cycle and then that's saved. And just to change the band, you just you'll have to hold, hold again. See, now I can change five, six, seven, eight, one, and two. So that's pretty simple. And it came in a pretty nice case. Overall, they're great little units for the price, only about $16. And yep, this camera can take from 3.3 to 5 volts about, I'm pretty sure. So a three cell battery, uh, I mean a one cell battery goes from around 3.3 to 4.2 volts. So that's inside the range of um, this operating voltage. So you can just use this battery, but I, I don't really want to spend money on extra batteries. So, and this one is heavy if you're adding it on, if you're adding it on to another plane, you know, this battery is about 25 grams plus the camera. That's about 30 grams. You can actually make up a little an, an adapter like this with the parts that you have. This is just some, um, some more little Arduino parts soldered together. Anyways, you just need two um, females parallel and then two females parallel on there. And then this will plug into a receiver um, on your airplane or on your... Um, it plugs into a receiver onto the positive and negative pins. And then this side will just plug in on the other side. So you plug this in here and then you plug this other end into your receiver port and that will give you power off of your receiver which is five volts so you don't have to have run a separate battery but it will take power off of your flight battery but overall these are great little cameras i would recommend that you get the clover leaf antennas i actually have one of those and it's in my bugs three um, or Force 100, F1 Force 100 drone, and it's just hot glued with another zip tie. And I haven't shown it being connected yet, so what I'll do now, I'll pair it up with my goggles to show you what the video looks like. So just make sure that it's plugged in the right way. And it's getting power, as you can see, with the blue LCD or little LED display-ish. And you just turn on your goggles or your screen. I did a review on these EV800Ds. Um, check it out. I'll put a link probably up right here. But as you can see, this is on and I'll just press the search button. until it picks up and as you can see it has picked up the signal just fine.